time for your Monday motivation, all right? I'm in my hotel room. I'm on tour right now, so I literally just set my phone up right in front of this window, and we're about to get down to it, all right? So what I want to talk about today is staying in your lane. I don't know about y'all, but when I go on Instagram, I see people and they have these multiple titles, right? If you ever see somebody on their profile, it'll be like model, actor, writer, producer, singer, dancer, chef, foodie, vampire, president, whatever you want to say. All these different titles. And what I'm encouraging people is to stay in your lane. I got a little list, right? A couple little things to help you stay in your lane, okay? First of all, you can't have ADD. And ADD is what I'm talking about. Oh, I can do this. I can do that. It's being specific about your gifts, about your talents, and about what you offer. So it's very, very important to be specific about what you do. Because people want ex experts. They don't want jack of all trades, right? Next up, people who stay in their lane normally arrive at their destination. If you look at the most successful people in the world, they're the people who spent years and years and years going after the same goal. They stayed in their lane. You don't get to where you got to get overnight. It takes time. So you got to be patient enough and believe enough that if I stay in my lane, if I stay on this road, it's going to lead me to where I got to go. Now, sometimes there'll be the detours. Sometimes there'll be little lanes you got to merge into, and that's okay. But when you stay in your lane, you will arrive at your destination eventually. Next up, distractions delay action. Let me say that again. Distractions delay actions. There's many distractions out there. One of the biggest distractions, ironically, is social media. So a lot of y'all watching this on my Instagram or YouTube, right? That's a distraction. Not this video, because it's actually going to help y'all. But a lot of it is just distractions. I know myself, when I have to get some work done, for instance, I'm working on my motivation website. I'm doing it myself. And I go on YouTube. I play a video I like. I'm in my website. The video ends. I don't like the next one that automatically starts. I go through. I go through. Before you know it, I've been working on my website for four hours. But I really got about an hour and a half of work done because I've been distracted. So I know I need to stay off the Internet and just put my iPod on because I'm going to be distracted. Distractions delay action. So you got to be focused when you're staying in your lane. Next up. Don't let the opinions of others force you out of your lane. Now, this goes two ways. See, sometimes we'll have close friends and family who encourage us to do things that we're not that great at. Friends and family, if you got someone who cannot sing, don't encourage them to pursue a career in singing. I'm sorry. I know we want to be supportive to our loved ones, but if you got to be honest. I don't want to want to waste time. One of the best things that was told to me early on is, boy, you can't sing. Now, you got to be careful because sometimes it could be dream crushers. And I'm not talking about haters, but I'm talking about close friends and families. You got to be 100 percent honest with yourself about what you're capable of and what you can do. Now, the other side is people will force you out of your line with their negativity, right? Because they can't do something. They're going to assume that it's impossible for you. So you got to be careful when you listen to other people. You know, But you got to be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. My man Jay-Z says everyone inside of them has a genius level talent. And I truly believe this. But you got to find out what your talent is. I was a pretty dope basketball player in high school. I was an NBA talent. It got me to college. But I wasn't NBA talent. That wasn't my ultimate gift. It's cool. My gift. I found my gift early on. My gift are words. That is my lane. Anything to do with words. I am a poet. Words. I'm an actor. Words. I'm a speaker. Words. I am a writer. Words. So anything involving with words, that is my lane. That is my gift. And dealing with people. Those are my lanes. Those are my gifts. So I know that I excel at that. I can't sing. Even though it deals with some words, my butt can't sing. I am not good with my hands. I am not the guy you asked to build or to fix something. I don't do that. I'm not the guy you asked to draw. I am not good doing stuff with my hands. That's not my talent. So you got to know your talent. You got to know your lane. And you got to stay in it. For people, that's it. That's all for your Monday motivation. I'm on tour right now. I'm uh, speaking at Mercyhurst University here in Erie, Pennsylvania. So I got to get ready for that. I have to go get me some breakfast. So I just want you all to remember, man, motivation is motivation for a generation in search of inspiration. Stay in your lane. And as always, remember... You the shit.